More foreign workers will be given a fast-tracked path to move to Australia under a shake-up of the migration system. Big shortages have been predicted in the aged care sector, but the minister says the answer is not a bigger Australia. After meeting supermarket workers, Good stuff, mate. I hope nice you enjoy your day. The Prime Minister had a blunt message. The truth is that the migration system that we inherited was broken. That assessment stems from a damning new report which finds Australia's migration system is not fit for purpose. What we need to do is to be less reliant upon temporary labour and to give people that permanent pathway. The government has agreed to a dramatic overhaul, creating a three-tiered system, opening the door for more highly paid workers, while also boosting the minimum wage that a skilled migrant must be paid. That level has been frozen at $54,000 since 2013. That will increase to $70,000 from July. This is the first increase in Tisman in a decade and it is a big deal. So we welcome the fact that it's finally moving. We want to see it indexed and continue to go up and keep pace with wages in our country. From the start of next year, all skilled temporary workers will have a pathway to permanent residency. It does not mean more people. It simply means that a group of temporary workers who have been denied even the opportunity to apply for permanent residency will be able to do so. More will be done to attract the best and brightest to not only live but study down under. The skilled occupation list and points test for migrants will also be updated. Getting that points test right could add tens of billions of dollars to the federal budget over the coming decades and make a real difference to economic growth in our country. In a bid to reduce exploitation, temporary visa holders will no longer be tied to their initial employer. It will allow them to shift jobs without the fear of being kicked out of the country. We should not see worker exploitation in a country like Australia. It is, there is no country in the world where the values are more betrayed by this practice. Even with more migrants, a warning Australia faces a potential crippling shortage of more than 400,000 workers in the care sector by 2050. But the Home Affairs Minister isn't giving the green light to open the floodgates. I'm, I'm not someone who advocates for a big Australia in this conversation. Leaving some big questions unanswered on how to fill looming shortages. Trudy McIntosh, Sky News, Canberra.